Sup, what's going on? Just wanted to make a quick tutorial video on how to EV train in any Pokemon fan game. So Pokemon fan game is any game that was made using Pokemon Essentials and RPG Maker. So some of these games include Pokemon Born, Rejuvenation, and Desolation. Obviously there are many more. So for this you'll need two things. Your Pokemon fan game of choice, preferably one that can show you the current EVs and IVs of any given Mon. And the second thing you'll need is Cheat Engine. The link will be in the description for Cheat Engine. So what you want to do is load up your game. So currently I'm in an EV grinding cave in Pokemon Desolation. This is going to be really easy to show the process. And load Cheat Engine next. And so what you want to do in Cheat Engine is go up to the top left here and search for Select a Process. You want to find your thing and then open your game and then we're able to access everything. So I'm going to be EV training this mod here. I'm going to remove this item actually. And as you can see here we can see the EVs on the left and the IVs on the right. So I'll be training speed to show this and currently it's at zero. So the way in Cheat Engine we search for addresses is by searching for their values, right? So you have address here, values here, and this is where you'll find all your search results. So the way you can find your values in here is by getting the actual value, the in-game value here, which is zero, multiplying it by two and then adding one. So if we do zero times two plus one, that's just gonna be one. So we're gonna see many results of just one. So this is 3,555,000. It's a lot. We want to get this down to one result. So what we're going to do is somehow update this so that the values will also update with the cheat engine and then we can isolate for our respective stat. So if we go in here, the way we do this is by getting uh, EV gains. So if we, I just killed that Swana, and if we go in here, you'll see that I just gained two EVs in speed. So now we can go over here in Cheat Engine, update this to two, press next scan, and then you'll see those results were just lowered to almost under seven, just under 7,000. So we're going to do this a couple more times depending on your game and the current values. This may take, a, you know, a few tries. This may take only two tries. It depends. So this is now updated to 4, so we're going to update this one more time, see what we get. We get 36 values, we're going to do this one more time. And then we should be able to isolate the value quickly. Oh, that didn't die, that's unfortunate. Um, okay, so we just killed it, let's check what it is. 6, great, so now we update this one more time to 6. And you'll see we get one value here drag and drop right here and then we can edit the value. So you can edit the value to whatever you want. Um, the max EV stat you can have legally is 252. So you still need to go by the rules of times 2 plus 1. So if we want uh, an EV stat of 200, 250 sorry, we're going to put 501. Right? It's still 6. We go back in and then it's 250. Now, to actually update this stat, you have to go into a battle or just refresh your game. And then we'll see that if we go back, the speed stat is now updated. So that's how you EV train in this game. Well, it's a faster way to uh, EV train in this game. You can manipulate EVs, you can lower them, you can raise them, do whatever you want with them. So that's basically how you do it really fast, and uh, yeah, see you around.